what's up guys, Rice here and welcome to another cubing video today I decided to do some 3x3 walkthrough solves so um, I'm gonna show how I solve it maybe some tips and tricks later on and yeah so let's get um, into scramble so I just randomly scramble it up doesn't even matter and then yeah so the first thing I do is I usually start with the white color so okay so first thing I'm gonna do is white cross so red one um, opposite the orange one and the green one just in here okay now I've done my cross I'm gonna do F12 I use some algorithms for F12 which I'm gonna show in the next solve. And then OLA. And then it's solved. Yeah, now I'm gonna show you some algorithms and some tips and tricks. Alright, so let's get into it. So first thing, I'm gonna make a white cross. Now this is um thing I would do first. So I would keep them like that. And then I know that red is on the right side of the blue. So it should be here and it's up here. And orange should be here. So in just a few moves I made a white cross so this should take me like two seconds or maybe more so now I'm gonna find a pair for the two F2L so here I'm gonna search through cube and here I found this one I would put it in and then the pair would be solved I would move it and then pick it up for this side to put it in and while I'm doing this algorithm, I would be looking for a next pair. So I already found it. White, a green, orange is here, and then it's already here. So the simple one, just put it in. Now, as I said, while I'm doing that, I also found a new pair. So a blue one. Again, matched up just put it in really quickly and now I found the next pair which is here just put it on that side and make an algorithm so just do R U prime R prime U R U R prime and now I have my F2L done and yeah as I said I don't know the algorithms for OLL so what I would do here is just like make a cross for that from that line so I think you know the algorithm for that then I basically know almost all the algorithms with cross so let's just do them Wait a second. So. so once I've done that I've got that all well done and now let's move on to PLL so I don't know all the algorithms for PLL as well, so I just usually do a T perm. If those two are the same, I keep them on my left side and do a normal T perm. I think you know the algorithm. If not, I'm gonna show you. So, right, up, right, counterclockwise, up, counterclockwise, right, counterclockwise, front counterclockwise, right to uh, U counterclockwise, R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, R, U, R prime, U prime, uh, F, normal. So, and now I've done the T perm and I just have to orientate the edges. And now I would just, the algorithm, I would keep this one the opposite color my left hand yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so I'll just do that. Okay, so let's get into next off. Now I'm gonna do uh, three more world resolves and then. Yeah. Right, so now I'm gonna begin with three more World Crew Solves. So, if you noticed or not, I had some problems with the last one, so when I did that algorithm for this one, um, I sometimes made that algorithm for all our case, so yeah. Um, this is what I'm working on now, and yeah, some tips. Um, if you want to solve your group the fastest, um, you don't. You mustn't like move it like that. Just keep one side and just like do do the turns on one side. Just you can you can move it, but it takes some more time. So yeah.
Um, uh, that's it for those Vulture Softs. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching. Um, let's get 60 likes in this video. And, uh, have a great day. Peace out.